in today's video, I'm going to explain how you can fully utilize the two HDMI out ports on the ATEM Mini Extreme and also explain in detail what are the video out buttons used for. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph. I run a production house here in Singapore doing photography, videography, live streams and basically everything tech. Welcome to my channel. If you have owned the A10 Mini consoles, the A10 Mini Pro, A10 Mini ISO or the A10 Mini from the beginning, you'll realize that in the past, there's only one HDMI out port on the console, which allows you to connect a HDMI cable to probably a monitor so that you can monitor the live stream with essential visuals, for example, the preview, program views, audio settings, and more. But the ATEM Mini Extreme introduced two HDMI out ports now, and what is this extra port used for? I think Blackmagic Design has listened to customer feedback and introduced an extra port. So in real life, many times during my live stream, the client has also requested for an extra view from my live stream setup meaning they want another HDMI out so that they can be projected onto another screen, sometimes a projector in the room or for feeding it into another computer to be used in their video conferencing apps such as Microsoft Teams, Zoom or Google Meet meetings. Before we go into the buttons, the detail of the buttons on the A10 Mini Extreme console and the explanation of each of these buttons, let me tell you one thing that is very important and you do have to take note. Okay, these two HDMI ports on the back of the console, you can change all the views coming out from HDMI out port 1, which means you can have the clean feed, the multi-view feed, the program feed, and the other feeds. For HDMI port 2, you can only output the multi-view. Take note, that's very important. So that means that if you want to give your client an output from your A10 Mini, remember to give them from HDMI port 1 because HDMI port 2 only outputs the multi-view. Remember that. And most of the time for our own live stream monitoring, we usually only look at the multi-view. So we will use port 2. So what are these buttons on the console under video out? For buttons labeled 1 to 8, this is actually pretty straightforward. You will be displaying the sources of your ports 1 to 8 respectively on the A10 Mini Extreme console. So for example, if your source 1 is connected to Cam 1 showing a wide angle shot of your live stream, pressing 1 here for video out means HDMI port 1 will be displaying the view from source 1. So in real life, what is this used for? Let me explain. So you know during live streams, we usually have a few cameras connected to our A10 Mini, right? So for example, Source 1 is connected to Cam 1, Source 2 to Cam 2, which could be a tight mid-body shot of the speaker, something like this. And then Cam 3, probably a view of the crowd, and then Cam 4 connected to a laptop to show your graphics and slides and so on. So the client only wants a view of the mid-body shot of the speaker. So how do you do that? So very simple. You connect a HDMI cable to HDMI out one port, press button two on your console, and then just pass the cable to your client. So no matter what operations you do on the A10 mini, the client will only receive the view coming in from cam two, which is the mid-body shot. And this applies to other sources as well. So the PGM button here refers to a program view, which is actually the live view and what is being shown on your live stream when you broadcast it. So if you put overlays or picture in picture, the output that goes out is a full screen view of the program feed. The PVW button refers to the preview mode, similar to the program view as mentioned earlier. But the output is that of the preview. For me, I don't really know what is the purpose of a HDMI out view of the preview view because usually in my experience, the program view is the most important one. Because the preview view is sort of like a behind the scenes test which cameras you want to choose next to go live or maybe you want to look at some media you have before deciding to go live on that picture or video. So again, in real life, I've never really used the preview view 
as a HDMI out in my live streams for the clients. Then we have the MV button, which is the multi-view. So this multi-view is what we usually use for monitoring. So the display is fully customizable into smaller windows. So you can actually choose which camera or which source or any other information that you want to monitor during your live stream. So you can change the views on the multi-view by going to your ATEM software control panel and click on the little gear icon on the bottom left. Then click on the multi-view tab. Here you have the standard 10 view layout where you can change any of the sources of the view by clicking on the drop down button and selecting which view you want. You can also change this layout by clicking on the view icon here. Lastly is the clean button. So you know sometimes during your live streams you have downstream keys or picture in picture on a camera source. So if you select clean here, whatever you overlay on the source will not be sent out through the HDMI port. And as the name suggests, it is a clean feed. So no overlays, no lower thirds, no logo, no nothing. Just a clean feed of the program view. So now let me share with you a personal tip. Okay, not so much a personal tip, but this actually happened a few times in the past for my live stream jobs, mainly corporate jobs. Okay, so there will be times where the client needs more than one HDMI output from your ATEM Mini. So they need like two, or three but you only have two outputs right and one you have to use it for your monitoring so how so you can actually use a HDMI splitter in this case so how does this HDMI splitter work so HDMI splitter takes in a source from a HDMI cable which is from your HDMI out on your ATEM mini and then you can output it to two or more sources depending on the HDMI splitter a simple one like this costs less than $20 on Amazon and this is one of the essential items I always bring along for my live stream jobs. But one point to note though, you have to inform your client that whatever output that he's getting on both HDMI cables is going to be the same because if you're going to output from your HDMI port and push to two or three HDMI outputs, they will be the same. So you cannot have say Cam1 for one cable to go to your projector and then cam 2's view to go to the laptop. Both the outputs will be the same as the input. So there you have it. A simple and easy video to understand today, hopefully, to explain to you how the HDMI out ports work on the ATEM Mini Extreme, as well as the buttons on the console to control what view you are pushing out through the HDMI ports where you can have one for your own monitoring, the multi-view, and another one for your client's use depending on which view they want. I hope you found this video today useful and if you like more of such videos or tutorials, do let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in the future. I'll be sharing more of such videos in my channel. So until the next one, I'm Steph, take care and bye-bye.